Hello world! Welcome to this DroneLink basic flight plan. First of course, we start with a new repository. Give it a name. The description is optional and of course public if you want to share it or private if you want to keep it for yourself. After create, this window will appear. You select a new plan. You find your location. That's where you are. And you give it a name. Description and text are optional. When you click next, this window will appear. Here you can configure your parameters. The most important here is action unfinished. That you set to return home. This means when your mission is finished, your drone will fly back to your start point. Okay, you can set your speed and all the other parameters we will discuss in a later stage because that is actually a little bit more complicated. For now, you can leave everything as it is. When you click next, you come to the main control interface. Here you have your pre-programmed flights, orbit, map, path, destination, whatever you need and from here we will start making our flight. I usually start with destination. That's the line between where you are and where your mission has to start. This is of course not the same point. Here you set your altitude, your waiting time after achievement and all the other parameters that you need. After this you can start with your mission. The green marker is the point where the mission will start, so let's add something. When we click on the preview button, we get this image. Basically, it tells you how the drone is flying, especially which side is it heading. This can be important, which we will show you in a minute. As you can see, the aircraft is pointing up, which means north. Open the properties of the destination. Go to Drone Heading, Reference and switch to Path. Now it will aim at the path. If you press the bin, it will delete the order and it will just go to Path. If you click on the properties, you can change the settings of the camera and the heading of the drone to your needs. We can relocate the green marker to any place of our needs, when we will start our new component. If we move our takeoff location, we will move our entire plan, something to remember. When we have set our destination, it's time to add a new component. We will take the orbit. Mark your center point.
and change your settings, altitude, radius, all the things. You can also change the radius by moving the green marker, so you can have a shorter approach. It's important to notice that the camera is aiming at the base, the center of the orbit. Now it's time to change the orbit into a corkscrew. It's good to play with the settings a little bit. Of course, you get the idea. We change from one to two rotations. Here, you also can change the settings to your personal needs if required. When you're happy with all your settings and angles, it's time to go to the corkscrew effect. Change the final radius and the final altitude to your needs. It's that easy. And if you want to film a cell tower, make sure your radius remains the same but your beginning altitude is low and your end altitude is high and make sure you have enough rotations, like I do seven. Always make sure you have enough room to play when you're flying around an object. In the next video, we'll talk about points of interest and markers.